I want to start with a poem in honor of Ernie Harwell, who passed away yesterday. And this is the way for decade after decade, uh, the great broadcaster of the Detroit Tigers started uh, when the first game of the season came along. He said, for lo, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of the singing of birds is come, and the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. Well, Madam President, uh, for four decades, a man named Ernie Harwell would recite those words. And he would recite them at the beginning of the first baseball broadcast of spring training. And those are the words that would tell our people that the long, cold winter was over. Ernie was the radio voice of the Detroit Tigers for 42 years. And in that time, there may have been no Michiganian more universally beloved. Our state mourns today at his passing yesterday evening after a long battle with cancer. He fought that battle with the grace, the good humor, and the wisdom that Michigan had come to expect and even depend on from a man that we came to know and love. This gentlemanly Georgian adopted our team, he adopted our state, he adopted them as his own and his families. And his career would have been worthy had he done nothing more than bring us the sound of summer over the radio, recounting the Tigers' ups and downs with professionalism and wit as he did for all those years. But without making a show of it, Ernie, Hartwell, Ernie Harwell taught us. In his work and his life, he taught us the value of kindness and respect. He taught us that in a city and a world too often divided, we could be united in joy at a great catch of Al Kaline's or a Lou Whitaker home run, or a Mark Fidrich strikeout. He taught us not to let life pass us by, in his words, like the house by the side of the road. In 1981, when he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, Ernie told the assembled fans what baseball meant to him. And these are his words. In baseball, democracy shines its clearest the only race that matters is the race to the bag. The creed is the rule book. And color <coughs> merely means something to distinguish one team's uniform from another. That was a lesson that he taught us so well in everything that he did in his life. I will miss Ernie Harwell personally and deeply and fondly. All of us in Michigan will miss the sound of his voice telling us that the winter is past, that the Tigers had won a big game or that they'd get another chance to win one tomorrow. We'll miss his Georgia draw, his humor, his humility, his quiet faith in God and in the goodness of the people that he encountered. But we will carry in our hearts always our love for Ernie Harwell, our appreciation for his work and the lessons that he gave us and left us and that we will pass on to our children and to our grandchildren.